My brother, your guest is a studious man. I brought him a lamp for the night. Thetare herself is a lamp for the night. How do you know that I am studious? I heard you reading and chanting. I heard you reading and chanting the Holy Quran. Come in, dear. Come in, Thetare, my dear sister. I have brought you a lamp and greetings. You brought me the light, not just a lamp. Hello. I was hesitating over whether to tell you something or not, so I consulted the holy book. What was it? My name is Abdullah. Abdullah Hassan ibn Ali ibn Sina. I've been appointed as the ruler of Komesan. I came from Bukhara. And I'm not yet married. The result? The prophecy. The result of the prophecy?
It couldn't be better. I'll tell you today, provided that the damsel puts on her wedding dress. I'm waiting for your answer. I'm still awaiting your answer. If you're going to ask for my hand in marriage, then you must talk to my brother. from Belk. At the time of Noe bin Mansur, a summoned king, he moved to Bakura. And during his reign, my father was appointed as the ruler of Komesan, a big village in the region. There is a village near Komesan called Afsane, where my father tied the knot with a girl named Satare. He settled down there and I was born. And after me, Mahmood was born.
Congratulations, it's a boy. a moment, my son. Hello. Hello there, my son. Whose books are these? They belong to us two. We're studying fit under the aesthetic sheikh, Ismail, in his school. We're the sons of Abdullah, Ibsina, the ruler of Khomeisan. I'm Hussein and he's Mahmud. So why is he carrying all the books? Because I'm bigger. In age or knowledge? In both. I have all these books in my mind, and he in his arms. Hmm. Is there anything in these books about helping your brother, perhaps? Yes, there is. Just to know something is not enough, my son. You have to practice what you know. Don't you see how heavy these books are for him to carry? Now go on, off you go. The books?
your hand. Come on. Argue with your teacher. Respect him. He was amazed when he read your paper on Burns. Don't be conceited about your knowledge. If you are conceited about what you know, then you should be ashamed about what you don't know. This means being ashamed all the time. I know you disagree with the esotericists. I know you disagree with Ismailism. Keep it secret. Listen, then reject. Go then and respect your father all the time. I hope you have listened to me. Oh, God. As you made him fond of knowledge, so make him strong enough to remain so. For whom are you praying? For me? I pray for you too. But just know, I was praying for my Hussein. He is in more danger than you. Hussein is fond of knowledge. teacher. Hello there. I read your paper on the definitions of genus and logical differentia. It was mostly unintelligible to me. You wrote it overnight and it took me three days to read. We must, we must learn to walk before we can run. Tell me about a square with the area of one centimeter. A square with a side length of one centimeter. A square with the area of two centimeters? Of a square with an area of one centimeter. And three centimeters? When the square side length equals the height of the right triangle, which divides the hypotenuse into one centimeters and three centimeters. <laughs> Tell me about the constellation of Leo. Leo contains many bright stars, including Regulus, which designates Alpha Leonis, a blue-white main sequence star, and Beta Leonis, which is at the opposite end of the constellation to Regulus. All right, I know that you know. Name the seven principles of existence. Creator. 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 Creature. Universal reason. Universal soul. First matter, time, and place. Who are the seven saints? The prophet, imam, executor, the proof, port, 
the missionary and the initiate. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Mm -hmm. You studied well, boy. Yes, but it didn't appeal to me. Keep it secret. What is the truth of divine ordinances? The truth of divine ordinances lies in the heart of verses. But you have to break through. The surface to get in, I know the surface. And that's all that I know. Even prophets who can connect to the knower of the world via Gabriel cannot get to the heart of the ordinances, let alone us divine ordinances have an exterior and an interior we have to adhere to, the exterior in our journey towards the interior. What you said was beyond me, Abu Abdullah Nateli, the author of a treatise on existence and a treatise on elixir. Have you... Got any questions? Before the origination of the world, what was God doing? Before? Before? Before the beginning of the world, what was God doing? Huh? Tell your father to come here. In the beginning of the world? Before the beginning of the world? Before the beginning of the world? Before the beginning of the world, what was God doing? Before the beginning of the world. Come. All right. Before the beginning of the world, what was God doing? Before the beginning of the world, what was he doing? God, what was he doing? Before the beginning of the world, what was God doing? Your son has just asked me a question. A question with very serious consequences. So, Abdullah ibn Sina, I'm going to tell you three things. First, your eldest son has to be keen to mind his language in the future. What's the matter? May I help you, Mum? My husband's fallen off the roof and has hurt his leg from the pelvis. He's in a lot of pain. I brought him here, the doctor's home. People say he's brilliant. A brilliant doctor? <sighs> come in. Come in. If you want to see the brilliant doctor. <sighs> Don't worry. The brilliant doctor is just 12 years <sighs> old. This is for asking a question that I didn't know the answer to. Learn from this. Ouch. Ow, ow. I. And second, I'm no longer qualified to teach him, since the student knows more than his teacher. In our times, it's difficult to earn a living ah. by studying. But don't, don't let him do anything else. Ow. Don't let ow, him. Ow, ow. Don't let him. Ow. Ow. Ah. Ow. 
Ouch! Take this. But don't let him do anything but study. I won't stay here anymore. Teacher, don't go. Forgive him. The student knows don't more go. than his teacher. Forgive him. Before the beginning of the world, what was God doing? Don't let him do anything but study. Do not let him do anything but study. Stay one more week in our home. Forgive him, I teacher. cannot stay here anymore. The student knows more than his teacher. Don't let him do anything but study. Oh, great doctor. He's our only breadwinner. He sprained his leg from behind. He's fallen from the roof. People say you've got healing Stand up, healing ma'am. I'm not the doctor. He is. Oh, ouch, ouch, oh. Let me help you, teacher. Oh. Oh. Be patient. I know that you're in pain. What's happened to you? My back. I've got terrible pain in my leg. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 my back. Oh, 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 my, my leg hurts. My leg hurts too. Hang in there, brother. Oh, 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 oh. This child oh. is to heal my husband. Oh. I'm a doctor, oh. not a healer. I pray to God for his healing, and he will be well. God willing, he will be well. Bring me a thirsty cow. A thirsty cow? Uh -huh. As you made him fond of knowledge, so make him strong enough to remain so. To remain so. pain went away. When the cow drank the water, it barely got bigger, pushing the bone into place. So simple. <sighs> Mahmoud! Does your leg still hurt? Let's run. <laughs> <laughs>
find myself. Attack! Attack, come on! I spared no effort in bringing you up. So it's better to see the esotericists too. Mm -hmm. mm. Don't attack me! I'm trying. Abdullah ibn Sina, our envoy came to Kormesan, and you, the ruler of Kormesan, gave him just seven dinars and seven dirhams. The Ismailis live off the ruler's money and also the serf's blood. The Gajnavi kings are terrified. And the Samani rulers have come to terms with us and are filled with panic when they hear our name. If you have come to renew your alliance, how much money is in your pouch? As much as the blessed member of the chief missionary. 30 Khalifa dinars on my behalf, 7 dinars on behalf of my eldest son, and 3 dinars on behalf of my youngest son, 40 in total. Mm. What do you want in exchange for your gold coins? The intercession of the chief missionary. Your son must ask it. I don't need the intercession of the chief missionary. Hmm. Hush. I'm asking for the intercession. Let him ask. I ask for the intercession. He does not ask sincerely. He, he does, does not, not ask, ask sincerely. What's your son's name? In which stage are you now? Obedience. To whom? To God the Glorious. So tell me then, why have you come here? to obey my father's order to ask you a very important question. Ask then. I see you are indeed a very clever boy. What are the three progenies? Every missionary knows the answer. Animals, plants, and of course, minds. Where is the place of man then? In the first place, 
Since he is a rational animal with deductive power, reasoning from particular cases to reach general rules, he can also speak. So you're saying man is in the animal category? Except that he is rational and therefore he is able to speak. Speaking entails listening. From who did we hear the first word? Excellent. He heard it from God who told it to Adam. So man heard the word from God via the prophets. That's right. So what is your heresy for? Why do you, the esotericists, claim that they know the heart of the divine rules without, listening to the prophet's words? So please, my son asks many questions all the time. Don't be angry with him. Questions that demand answers or life? He just wants to know more. Swear that you are not conceding the secrets. I don't swear that I don't know the secrets. Uh. Throw the three of them out of here. I ask your pardon. Your pardon and thus intact. This is the house of Kormisen's ruler. Yes, I am. Abula Ibn Sina is my father, and the brilliant doctor is my brother. Let's go. Come in. God, your son is lucky enough that His Excellency Mamulj of Kanzi, the Turkish Sultan, has summoned him to the court. I have a strange premonition. Mahmud is cruel to the followers of the Prophet's family. We have visitors. Good day, the ruler of Kormisan. Your son. 
is the best doctor in all of Corazon. Both of us are the envoys of Abul Qasim Mahmud Ibn Sabuk Tagin. All of God's greetings upon you, my grace. Luck is on your son's side. The Sultan has summoned him. My son, Hussein, is just a child. We know that he is young. All of God's greetings upon the Sultan of Ganza. Stand up. I'll take you to my son Hussein in a moment. Then you may read the king's orders to him. Hussein, my beloved son, His Excellency King Mahmoud Ganzi has sent two envoys to you. Tell them to go and come back later. Now is my time to play. Uh. We're looking for the brilliant doctor, not this little boy. Not this one. I am the one that you are looking for. A doctor hanging from tree branches. If I come with you to the court, I won't bring the tree branches along with me. Surely the Sultan's envoys must know that my son Hussein is just a child. Don't take his words to heart. Our hearts are armor clad. They are not affected by fear or anger and any other resemblance to kindness. Seriously, are you Hussein ibn Abdullah ibn Sina, whose fame was spread to Bakara and Ghazna? Sure, he is. Communicate his mother's appeal to your sultan. His mother asks the king to let Hussein stay with his father until he grows up. Is this a joke? What is a brilliant knowledgeable doctor doing on tree branches. The Sultan's damnation upon us if we snatch a child out of a tree and take him to the court. We're convinced it'll make the Sultan an object of ridicule. And the lightest punishment for those who do so is death. Shame upon us. Resort to hypocrisy. I've heard that the king's courts are founded on hypocrisy. You would be six feet under for what you said if you weren't up there in the tree. Tell your sultan that I'm the personal property of no lord or king. Tell him that a man's imminence is in his spiritual freedom. <laughs> Look at that. Look how wisely the child is actually talking. <laughs> Hey, child, what's a sage like you doing up a tree? I act my age, you the Sultan's envoy. Tell His Excellency that you searched every nook and every cranny, but were unable to find the brilliant doctor. Tell him that you didn't find him... that you didn't find him on Khorasan's soil. 
tell him that we didn't find him. Did you find me on Coruscant soil? Yes. No, actually, we didn't. We didn't. We never found you on soil. <laughs>